Today's, today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Android operating system on a Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer. So this website shows you how to do that. So all you need is a program called Vanilla Etcher to write the image of the operating system onto the micro SD card. And you also need a micro SD USB card reader as well. Let's go here. Get it. I'm trying to decide which one I want. I guess I want the latest one. Let me get that. Just select the appropriate URL for where you live near. I live near Oregon, so I will select Oregon. Download this. Take a few minutes for it to complete. I have my um, micro SD card USB readers connected to this computer, so I'm going to type in computer management and uh, do some stuff. It's, this is written over already, so I want to delete all the partitions in this micro SD card. If this is a new flash US, uh, if this is a new micro SD card, you, you don't have to do this. Maybe it's not even necessary, but I just do it because I just want to make it uh, so that the partitions are clear. Okay, that's good. Go to my downloads folder. Completed. Still downloading. Okay, now it's done. What I want to do is I want to extract that file. Control V. Here. Okay. 
Next, I want to start Vanilla Etcher. If you don't already have it, you can go to Vanilla Etcher's website and download it. Download Etcher because you'll need it to copy the image and install it on your computer. Lock the file. Control C to copy this. Control V to paste it. I want to select this. Open. Select the USB drive. Make sure you select the right one. That's the only USB device I have on my computer, so it is the right one. Select. Flash. Yes. It'll take a couple of minutes. It's almost done. Now it's going to verify it. Done. Checked it. We don't have to check. We just pull it out. Just insert this into your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I just started my SPC. Loading up. Okay, now it's started. So scroll down, start, end user license agreement. Commercial use is not allowed with this build, except language, US English, date and time, set that. Pacific Daylight, next. No. It won't matter, it's not an Android phone. Okay. I like three buttons. That won't be necessary. I don't have to back it up. I don't really care. Start. Okay, so I'll show you how to, just the basics on how to use this. Um, if you want to go to settings, it's right here. Just left click. Go here to the gear bar. That's where settings is at. It's about this tablet or single board computer. This is a build number. IP uh, LAN ad LAN IP address. You change the sound settings here.
we want to increase the sound we can. Notification and alarm won't matter because this is not a phone or a real tablet. Okay, so let me get out of here. So this is the three button setup. So if you want to go to programs, it's right here. This is the internet browser. You could use it to go on the internet. Okay, good. So as for the sound, um, you're going to have problems with this. Uh, problems with getting sound when you first uh, install this, when you first start this operating system. So you go here, left click there, go to settings. I think it's systems, just single click. Go to Raspberry Pi settings. You have to set the audio to your HDMI uh, input. So by default, it's going to be at 3.5 millimeter jack default. For me, it's this one right here. How do I know it's that one? HDMI CEC is set at HDMI 0 by default. So that's what it is for me. If you have it connected to here, then it's going to be that one. If you want to get audio from your 3.5 millimeter audio jack, you could use that. But by default, it's that. So I set it to this because I'm getting audio. I want to get audio by HDMI. And after you do, do that, you just restart uh, the Android operating system and you should get sound. And I'll prove to you that I have sound. Go to YouTube. Go to my channel so I don't get any copyright stuff. Okay, so you heard it there. The sound does work. I could also play YouTube videos on here. Stop it. So just go here and just clear it all. And that's pretty much it.